You know, we've talked a lot about how many people uh, delay retirement until the age of 65 so they can go on Medicare uh, to keep health care costs down. What many listeners, I think, still aren't aware of is that uh, there are several things that Medicare, well, it's not going to cover. Uh, let's talk about those. Let's talk about what some of them are and your suggestions on how to keep costs down. Well, you know, Chris, that's a great point. There are several items that are not actually covered on Medicare. And a lot of people just move into Medicare thinking, oh, my gosh, you know, I've got everything covered now. My uh, my employer plan was covering. I had high deductibles and out-of-pockets and co-pays, and uh, it's all supposed to be rosy when I retire. You know, turn 65, you uh, retire, uh, sign up for uh, Social Security, and sign up for um, Medicare. Well, that's not necessarily always the case, you know. So what I want to do I want to take a minute and I want to go through some of the top six items that are are not covered by Medicare that people uh, are maybe don't think about or aren't aware of. And um, what I'll do is I'll actually give you some pointers and ideas on how to get coverage for the things Medicare doesn't cover and how uh, I can help you with that. So one, deductibles and coinsurance. Now, the one thing I want to make sure that everybody understands is we are talking about original Medicare here, okay? Original Medicare with Part A and Part B. So original Medicare has deductibles and out-of-pockets that each individual are going to have to pay, you know, and those numbers can be very, very costly. For example, hospitalization, the first 60 days, you get $1,600 out-of-pocket. That's your cost. Medicare doesn't pay for that. That's, that's you, uh, and then there's other expenses along with that. But then in Part B, you have a $226 deductible. That is for your medical services. And it's 80-20. So you pay 20% of whatever the rest of that cost is for the rest of that year. So that number could be quite, quite large. Okay, so deductibles and coinsurance are, are not covered with original Medicare. Routine dental care. Dental care is not covered under original Medicare. So you have to uh, either purchase a standalone dental plan or go without. And, you know, it's shocking the number of people that actually go without dental care. Eye exams. Scott. Yes. Scott, that's, I just find that really important because about two out of three adults age 65 or older are going to have gum disease. There's no question. And so what are people doing to, you know, what's the best way to handle that? Well, so the best way to handle that is where I come into play, and that is to actually provide coverage for them. You can mm -hmm. buy what's called a standalone dental plan. It's going to come with a monthly premium or the Advantage plans. Now, the Advantage plans are going to cover dental. They come with dental insurance. Not only do they come with dental insurance, but they also come with some of the other items on my list here. Eye exams, mm -hmm. another example, right? Yeah. Eye exams are not covered by original dental or orig original Medicare, nor are hearing aids or hearing exams are not covered by original Medicare. Another big one is prescriptions. You know, almost all of our seniors, very few, are not on some sort of a medication. Those are co um, not covered on your standard Medicare. And another really big one that is, is we've talked about several times before but is overlooked is long-term care. You know, if you go into a long-term care facility, Medicare does not pay for long-term care coverage. And Nolan, you and I talk a lot about uh, how do you protect against long-term care and the hybrid plans that are out there with the life insurance and the riders on there. So what do you do, right? How do you get coverage for all of these? Well, it's a very simple process. One, you can either purchase what's called a Medicare supplemental plan. And Curtis, this is kind of like what you were asking. How do mm -hmm. people get coverage for these things, right? You can purchase a Medicare supplement, which is going to cover the Part A and Part B deductibles and coinsurances. Then you purchase a standalone drug plan and a standalone um, prescription, uh, or I'm sorry, um, um, uh, dental and vision plan. Or you can purchase what's called the Advantage plan. The Advantage plan is going to give you dental, hearing, prescriptions, and uh, vision coverage all included. And pay for all of those out-of-pocket co-pays that you might incur under original Medicare. So for those of you that are, are turning 65 or are already on Medicare uh, and have questions, 
you know, feel free to reach out to uh, myself here at uh, America's Medicare Associates. You can go on the ARHQ website and check out any uh, events that we have coming up. Um, and if I can be of any assistance and service to anybody, I'm happy to do so. Uh, also, for those that are working past 65, you have what's called a special enrollment period if you're looking to sign up for Medicare after you turn 65. Um, we can help you out with that. And, um, you know, I, I think you have to understand what is and isn't covered. It's kind of like those in, 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 um, exclusions that you have on your um, life insurance plans or any other policies you have out there. Make sure you know what's covered and what's not covered. If what you thought you knew about your retirement future turned out to not be true, well, for example, what Medicare does and doesn't cover it, uh, when would you want to find out? I think some people out there are probably finding out about this right now, and that is part of it. But also, how do how do you make it work? How do you cover uh, these things? Because it's funny to me, you know, you talk about your whole body and Medicare covering it, except for, oh, your eyes and your ears and your teeth, things that are already, you know, attached to you. But there are ways to make sure that those are covered. To sit down and speak with uh, the team at America's Medicare Associates, real easy to reach out. Again, you can go to ARHQ.com and get a link there. Uh, find Scott's contact information or give a call 419-794-3030.